Welcome to the first episode in Manufacturer's Monthly New Webinar On Demand series. We'll be bringing together the biggest names in Australian manufacturing who'll share their insights and expertise on how to succeed in this dynamic industry. Today, we'll be discussing the top do's and don'ts of gas cylinder safety with one of Australia's leading gas suppliers, BOC. My name's Mark Brunker. I'm the Health and Safety Manager for BOC in the South Pacific. And BOC is a supplier of industrial and medical gases, as well as gas supply systems. We also do welding products and safety equipment. Gases are dangerous goods class two, and like all dangerous goods, we need to be very careful that they don't harm people or the environment. And so we need to assess the risks and control them. With gases, we're talking high pressures, we're also talking the chemical properties, flammability, toxicity and oxidising. What precaution should workers take when handling cylinders? We would recommend safety shoes and a pair of gloves and preferably long sleeves. Another thing to consider is substances. Make sure you keep hydrocarbons away from the gas cylinders so we don't want any oil or grease, particularly in the threads of the valves. And leak checking is a good practice but make sure you're not using an ammonia-based leak check solution. If you're picking up from a, a gas and gear outlet, you need to make sure that you've got the right vehicle. It needs to be not enclosed, preferably a ute, so that you can't have a build-up of gases in the load space. Ideally, we can deliver your cylinders to you. So that's the best option. Manual handling is a big issue with cylinders. Cylinders can weigh upwards of 100 kilos. So you need to get yourself a good trolley and use it. If you're moving cylinders a short distance, then trundling the cylinder is okay, uh, but make sure you don't inadvertently turn the valve on while you're doing it. So you need to be careful. So Mark, what are some of the best ways to secure gas cylinders? When you're transporting cylinders, they must be firmly secured using brackets or tie downs. In an industrial site, you can use chains or straps, but it's singularly important that cylinders are not left freestanding where they can fall over and hurt someone. If the cylinder comes to you and the valve is really hard to open or it appears to be damaged in any way, don't use it, contact your supplier and we'll come and pick it up from you. If the cylinder is damaged on your site, please don't try to disguise it. For the safety of future users of that cylinder and for the people who are filling the cylinder, just let us know about it and we'll come and get it and we'll fix it up. The last thing is never, never, never try to catch a falling cylinder. The cylinder's designed to take that impact, people aren't. More information, the BOC website has a lot of really helpful information, guidelines for cylinder safety, safety data sheets, uh, you can also go to the BOC South Pacific YouTube site, which has got some really helpful videos. 